Good day, YouTube. Um, today I'm going to be shining some light on how the internet service provider Bell lies to its customers. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I live in a rural part of Canada, and Bell promises um, fiber op connection to everybody in this area um, of rural Canada, but still, we don't get it. Um, we pay for it, but we don't get it. We pay for what they get in the cities and the schools, but we still don't get their fiber off. So I'm going to be demonstrating how this is happening here. Here is a building that is nearby to me. It's a Bell Hut, I guess, where they have their machines. I don't know. It's decently nearby, still far from any city. And this is imagery from 2013. If you were to drive by this building again, today, then you'd see on this building it would say in great large letters, loudly and proudly, that fiber op is now here. Obviously a lie. Now, if you ask for their, um, their support services, if your internet is broken, most probably because of their crappy service, they're gonna pull up to you in this van right here, this kind of van, you know what it says? Fiber op is here. Fiber op is here. They're going to pull up to your house with the crappy internet that they provide and say that fiber op is here. Something that you're paying for and still not getting. Which is just insult to injury. It smacks you right in the face. Now, I tried to get onto the Bell website to test my speed connection. And for some reason it's not working. I don't know why I was so surprised. So, we're going to um, look for the uh, speed test that I just used. When, where was that one? Test my net. I think it's this one. Lies. Now, where is that speed test? Internet. I wish I could use this website. It just doesn't load for some reason, probably because of Bell's crappy internet service. All right, now we're here. All right, quickest speed test I've ever done. Wow. This is actually around where we are all the time, like 500 to 500 kilobytes to one megabyte per second range. I don't know if this is download or upload. I'd assume this is download because upload is significantly slower on all kinds of platforms. But now, one thing I noticed is that at school we have just about a hundred times this speed at the school that I go to. We just got fiber up there. And it is around 90 megabytes per second of download speed and similar upload speed. I don't know why they're so similar, though, but that's, that's one of the points there. It's absolutely nuts. Why can they give them fiber up, but not us, even if we're both effectively in the middle of nowhere, equally far from any city that actually gets fiber up? Now... What I'm going to do now is play the video I uploaded just a few days ago. And at, at the school, with the fiber up, we were able to play 4K uh, video and just barely able to play 8K. But 4K, still, that's amazing, is it? So we're going to set this to a th 1080p, you know, peasant stuff, according to some people. And we're just going to give this a shot and we can wait we, we can definitely wait I'm sure this video took how long did it take? it took about an entire day to upload alright take a look at the downloaded bar
you have to be very, very lucky to be able to play 1080p at my house and at any other house in this area. Usually I'm stuck playing 144 to 240, maybe if I'm lucky, 360 or 480 pixel. Anyway, point obviously taken. This is a lucky day for me. I guess maybe it loads faster because I have had it on this computer or it, I uploaded it myself so I get priority or something. I don't know. But that's what it is. So, in conclusion here, Bell, they're liars. They don't give a single thing they promise to you, but they charge you for it just for using their service. Their crappy service that does absolutely nothing, and they add insult to injury by pulling up to you to fix your crappy internet connection that they gave you in a truck that says Fibrop is here. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm so glad that there's going to be a new internet service provider coming to Prince Edward Island soon, which is the province that I live in. I, I'm so glad. We're going to be immediately switching to it. We had to switch from Bell to Shaw in, on our um, TV because Bell was, we, we just couldn't have Bell. It just wouldn't work. Slow, staticky, it never worked for some reason. It's not the TV because when we switched to Shaw, it was perfect, as if nothing bad was ever happening. So, that's all I have to say. I can't really go any longer in this video or else it's just going to take it's going to take another week to upload the video. So I'll just stop talking right here. Um, point proven though. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.